How's your day going, everybody? My name is Finch, and welcome back to more Journey Blind. In the last episode, we got to this amazing paper scroll dragon cloud thing. Anyway, let's go ride him. Yeah. Uh, this is the fourth episode I'm recording in a row. I only do this with games that I absolutely love. Come on, bro. Let's go. <laughs> it's so fucking awesome. Whoa. What the fuck? Okay, I guess I'm... I guess that's all I had to do then. I totally didn't die from falling. I really like what they do with the sand. It, like, it, it makes it look like water and shit. It's so fucking cool. I love it. I mean, I know Kid Icarus gave this game a, a bad review. Well, not a bad review, just an okay review. Uh, which is fine. I mean, it's not like everybody has to like every game ever made. And from what I can tell, this game is absolutely not for everybody, but I mean, like, how can you have bad feelings towards this fucking game? Oh my god. Oh, it was so fucking cool! I love these- Ah, uh, it's so charming! How can you not love this? I've, I've fallen in love with this game. It's one of the most artistic things I've ever seen. Also one of the most unique things I've ever played. I'm enjoying all of my time here. And all I'm doing is exploring a fake world. That's it. <laughs> and I'm enjoying myself more than I do most games. I'd say that's a job well done. Oh. I don't know. I get that it's not for everybody, but I mean, come on, Caddy. Come on, Caddy. Come on. This game is better than like a or whatever you rated it. <laughs> I forget I haven't watched that review in a while. I only ever watched uh, that review because I had nothing else to really watch anyway. I'd watched all his Cat Icarus episodes. So I was like, eh, might, might, might as well see what, what this stuff is. Might as well watch his non Cat Icarus stuff. Um. So how are you guys doing? I'm, I'm having fun here. Scrolls, come down here! I have nothing to talk about! Save me! Boop. Yo, come here. Okay, I think it's supposed to be taking me up here. I'm okay with this. Haha. Go up! Tell me more of the story. Looks like we're in a palace. Fucking thing ever. Oh my god, that's the best fucking thing I've ever seen. I, I mean, there's really like, come on, you know, you just, they would have ruined this game if they put in uh, fu fucking like uh, chat. I mean, then there wouldn't be any point to fucking communicating like we just did. Like it's beautiful. I love it. Ah, oh, that looks like the ocean. I, like, that's exactly why they made the sand like that. Because it looks like the ocean, but it's sand. And it acts like you're surfing. It's just, it's so well done. I can't praise it enough. And, like, this is very, very much suited for PlayStation 4. Because I know the argument is always like, oh, graphics aren't everything. Right? I don't need good graphics for, for video games. And it's like, yeah, that's true. But... What are you going to play? Resident Evil 1 or Resident Evil 1 Remaster? I'm, I'm just saying. I haven't played either of them, but which one would you guys play? I'm sure that's a healthy number for both sides, but, like, there's a reason remasters exist. And honestly, this PS4 remaster, I think, was totally warranted because half of the appeal of this game is that it's beautiful. Keop, keop, keop! Aha, I made it. It have to appeal to this game is, is its beauty. And so the graphics have to be at its best. And they did a fantastic job with it. It's very, very well done. Graphics don't make the game. Always. But if this game wasn't beautiful, I wouldn't play it. I'm going to tell you straight up that that thing about... Oh, crap. Ow. That hurts my feet. Ow. <laughs> that, that, that adage about graphics aren't everything, not always true. True in most cases. 
But I mean, even like Yoshi's Island graphics aren't bad. They're really not. Like if you go back and look at Yoshi's Island on the SNES, uh, its graphics are, they're amazing. Like I'm like, I still love them today. Uh, I am a kid, I guess, who grew up on like Game Boy Advance graphics. Um, I'm not, I wasn't uh, part of the era of people that really, oh my God, so beautiful. Oh my god! This... Oh my god. This is the most beautiful fucking thing I've ever seen. take him in just to soak that in. Like, if there was ever an interactive movie, this is it. Fuck you, Until Dawn. Fuck you, Heavy Rain. This is how you do an interactive film. You take something that would be beautiful on screen and let the player create the beauty. Well, I mean, of course, uh, the beauty of the scene would probably be the choreography, so it's like going back and forth like this, but like... You let the player take part in the beauty, I guess, is a better way of saying it, because obviously I didn't make any of this shit. I'm, a, I'm No, you know what? Fuck it, I'm taking credit for this. I'm taking all the credit for this beautiful game. <laughs> but, like, the motions of your character are so, so cool. And combined with this atmosphere, it's so beautiful. Hey, bro, how's it going? I completely forgot what I was talking about beforehand. Oh, fine, take the phone away from me. Ah, that's cool, though. We're, we're together. Sweet! getting chills right now that is are those demons are those demon monster snake guys things oh that's cool oh and yet another gate is opened Sorry, bro, I'm not going to be able to communicate with you because the episode is over. I'm going to go ahead and sit down. Ah, oh, crap, that's not sitting down. That is sitting down. There we go. Uh, I completely forgot what I was talking about earlier before the beauty kicked in. But this is, this is an experience that I've never had before in a game. And it's, it's truly breathtaking. I couldn't be happier with this with this let's play. I hope you guys don't mind. I know I said I wasn't going to get deep every episode, but I probably have been getting deep ever since the first episode. Because I guess in the beginning of the game, it's just like... They present it to you in a way where you want to get into it, but you're it's like, it's like the start of a horror movie with friends. Like, you sit down, and you start making jabs at things like, Oh yeah, because that's not a stupid thing to do. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go get some bread when, my, when a ghost is a knife. Oh, uh, funny. Um, like, it's, it's, that, it's that kind of a thing, where you're starting to get into it, where it's like, Yeah, you want to get into it, but it's like, you, you still gotta make fun of it just because you can. I ease yourself into it, but then at some point you realize you haven't spoken in like half an hour to 45 minutes, and you're like, shit, I'm into this. <laughs> That's how it feels with this game. 
I start. I think I started off being really silly with it. I, I think I am still a little bit silly with it, but that's fine. I'm kind of in, engrossed in this game. In a way, I haven't been engrossed in any other game before. Did you wake me up, bitch? Bitch, I'm talking to my people. Please leave. <laughs> Knuckle cracks. Uh. <laughs> this game has so much charm to it. I love the way they're telling the story because I'm a fan of ancient history and ancient culture. And I love... I, I've always wanted a game like this. Like, if I were to make my perfect game, this is what it would be. This is this is it, right here. I am so glad you guys wanted me to play Journey. There is not a better game that you guys could have forced me to play <laughs> out of the three that I chose, even though I really wanted to play Resident Evil. I am so fucking glad that you guys made me play this one. That was the best choice you could have had. I'm sorry, Caddy, but I gotta rate this game at least a 9 out of 10 so far. I'm sure it's it hasn't hit everything for me, and I'm sure it's charm. Well, actually, I'm not even sure it's charm will wear off eventually. I don't know how long this game is or how long the journey will take me, but, like, this is an amazing game. Oh, I mean, look at how beautiful it is. And yeah, I get graphics aren't really everything for everybody. So if on, if honestly you don't care about beautiful things, then you probably don't like this game, which is fine. It's whatever. I don't I don't honestly care if you like it or not. But I'm enjoying myself. I enjoy beautiful things and pretty things and interactivity and exploring and literally everything about this game screams me. But I've got like a minute left before I have to stop this recording. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. Leave me a comment below. Say anything you want. Call me a dick. I don't care. <laughs> Um, and if you're not subscribed already, please click that subscribe button, and when you do subscribe, make sure you click that little bell icon right next to that subscribe notification, that way you can actually be notified whenever I upload, because YouTube, I don't think, does that automatically anymore, so make sure you do that so you're notified whenever a new journey video comes out, or anything else that I do for that matter. Thank you so very much for watching this video. Hope you're having the best day ever, and I hope to see you in the next video. All right, bye.